Hello, I'm Father Jim Bjorum, pastor of Our Lady of Hope Parish in St. Clair Shores. Today we are in the computer room of St. Germain School. As you know, we are committed to working hard to keeping you in touch with us while you are in your homes. This Sunday is already the second Sunday of Advent and the second Donuts to Go with Santa. The takeaway donuts were meant to be a one-time replacement for the men's club's annual pancake breakfast with Santa because of the 2020 pandemic. Who would have thought that we would still be dealing with the pandemic a year later? We didn't know how to prepare for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day in 2020, anticipating that many Catholics who were not attending weekly Sunday Mass because of the virus, but who would want to attend Mass for Christmas. Many parishes, including Our Lady of Hope, added Masses on Christmas Eve. We scheduled Mass at 4 o'clock, 5.15, and 6.15 p.m. And issued tickets because of the limited seating capacity because of social distancing. Because we have almost doubled our seating capacity from last Christmas, I am confident we will be able to accommodate everyone who wishes to attend Mass this Christmas. Christmas Eve Masses will be at 4 o'clock and 6 o'clock p.m. Christmas Day Masses will be at 8.30 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. Because Christmas Day is on a Saturday, there will not be a vigil Mass at 5 p.m. for Sunday. Masses for Sunday, December 26, the Feast of the Holy Family, will be at 8.30 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. Remember, if you are over 65 years of age, have a cold or otherwise don't feel well, or are hesitant to be in a crowd of people because of COVID-19, you are dispensed from the obligation to attend Mass. If you are comfortable wearing a mask, please do so. You won't be the only one. We have returned rows of chairs in the main body of the church, but the rows are distanced six feet apart, and the seating in the social hall is the single molded plastic chairs distanced six feet apart. For the distribution of Holy Communion, the ministers are masked and will sanitize their hands before beginning distribution. If you wish to receive communion on the tongue, please wait until you are at the end of the line for communion. Opwatki Christmas wafers will be available on the table in the gathering space beginning this weekend. They are also available at the Paris Center office. Calendars for the new year will also be available. On the fourth Sunday of Advent, December 19th, we will put copies of Bishop Fulton Sheen's book out as well. It is the parish's Christmas gift to you. It can be read in the same way as Mother Teresa's journal, which was our gift to you last Christmas. We celebrated Mass on Thanksgiving Day, Thursday, November 25th. It was the first Mass celebrated for a civil holiday, like the 4th of July, Memorial Day, Labor Day, since Thanksgiving 2019. Mass was well attended, considering we weren't able to have the customary brunch afterwards. This coming Sunday, December 5th, as already announced, the Men's Club is sponsoring the second Donuts to Go with Santa from 9 a.m. until noon in the Activity Center parking lot. You can place your order online by going to their email at O-L-O-H Men's Club, one word, no apostrophe, at gmail.com. Once again, O L O H Men's Club at gmail.com. Payment is due when you pick them up. Please have exact change when you pay for them. The St. Vincent de Paul Conference and Christian Service are sponsoring an Advent giving tree. They are accepting gift cards from Target, Myers, and Kroger, any dollar amount. Please place them in an envelope marked Giving Tree and drop it off at the Perry Center office. Remember, there is a mail slot in the front door so you can drop it off anytime. Thank you for your generosity. We continue to pray for the victims of the virus, their families, and the first responders. Pray also for the victims of disasters throughout the world. I'd like to close with a prayer for the sick, as I do each week, especially praying for those who suffer from COVID-19. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, eternal health of believers, 
Hear our prayers for your servants who are sick. Grant them, we ask you, your merciful help, so that, with their health restored, they may give you thanks in the midst of your church. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. God bless. And we'll chat next week.